everyone. Welcome to this week's G News, the only show where you get all of your gay in just one day with your hosts, Celsa Dule and Lisa Cohen. This week on G News, we add another state to the marriage equality party. Plus, for the first time in history, there is a royal on the cover of a gay magazine. The HRC's Christian Conversation Guide. And 50 is fabulous for the Imperial Council. All this and more on this week's G News. <laughs> Alabama. Alabama. It's a shocker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, we knew that all of them, like dominoes, they were all going to eventually have to succumb. But that Alabama? <laughs> I, that was a. Thank you. I was happily surprised yeah. by Alabama. Uh, Judge Callie V.S. Grenad, she struck down the ban with no stay. No stay. That's it. What is it? Boom, boom. Yeah. She stamped it. Stamped it on. Go get married. They were saying that it's good to be anti gay marriage because that would promote responsible procreation. We talked about this several episodes ago, saying um, it's going to help keep mothers and fathers together if yeah. we don't let gays get married. But that's that was their argument. Right. The judge says, you know, according to the law, bring me your stuff. Let yeah. me see line for line what you got going. And that's what they brought to her. Bubkiss. In her statement, she wrote, uh, the state presented no evidence uh, that the laws have any impact on the choices of couples to have or raise children. And those laws are, in fact, this is my favorite part, an irrational way of promoting biological relationships in Alabama. I mean, irrational. She's like, you guys did nothing. <laughs> what are you doing? And then she goes on to protect the children. Mm. She said, these laws further injures those children of all couples who are themselves gay or lesbian and who will grow up knowing that Alabama does not believe they are as capable of creating a family as their heterosexual friends. Meaning, this law, she's like, you know, this is ridiculous. This got us to thinking... What, uh, which other state's going to be next? Because Alabama was a complete shocker. Right? I thought that was last, and so that loses my whole, yeah. I said uh, Mississippi mm. would be the last. They would just hold on to the bitter end. I don't know. Lisa disagrees with I me. I am sticking with Kentucky. She thinks Kentucky. Bet me. All right. Bet me. All right. Give me a thumb. <laughs> What's the bet? Oh. Glitter bombing. Okay. I get to glitter bomb. The you. loser gets glitter bombed. Somewhere, some historical site in the city. <laughs> Sorry about the glitter, Mayor. It's Ooh. a deal, because I know I'm going to win, because Mississippi's going to be the last. Well, I, you know. So, uh, let's, Ohio? all of the states, yeah, we have Ohio, which is a No, shock. they're, 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 they're just like, oops, sorry, we missed that. I thought that was a typo. I was like, aren't they? No, um, Ohio's in there. Arkansas, Georgia, uh, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, Mississippi. Michigan was the other one. Michigan. Yeah. Really? Missouri, North and South Dakota, eh. Ohio, uh, Tennessee, and Texas. Well, Texas, you know, I actually am beginning to have hope for Texas. I know there's just something about Yeah, it. I don't think they're going to be at the end. Like I said, I I'm, just, holding, I'm holding fast to Mississippi is going to be the last one. Kentucky. And I love you, bourbon. Don't get me wrong. I drink your stuff, but... We think all of this progress is very glitter worthy. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, forget the hate. Be a glitter state. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Surprise us. We're anxious to see which state is next. Alabama. Thank you, Alabama. Thank you. Thank you, Callie. Yes, thank you, Callie. The Honorable Your Callie. Honor. Yes. Your Honor. <laughs> I can't believe this is history. This is groundbreaking stuff. I thought a royal had been on the cover of a gay magazine most, already. Most definitely uh, Junior. Prince Harry. She's saying Prince Harry. <laughs> she's when I when I it. first read the the title, I thought, oh, it's got to be Prince it's Harry. It's got to be, yeah. 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 But I was Some wrong. Cover. I'm okay with this. Delightfully. No offense, <laughs> Prince Harry, but oh my goodness, you. I, I don't, I, you know, if you watch this show regularly, that I love me some Prince Harry. <sighs> but why have a prince when you can have a king? Right? All hail the king. <laughs> European monarch King Philippe VI of Spain. Oh! My God. This is him on the cover of Regap. Regap. A gay magazine in Spain. Beautiful. He's a huge and active supporter of the LGBT community. Um, he recently took office in June of 2014, I think. So he's yeah. he, when his father stepped down. And but, his wife is nothing to sneeze at either, but she's not on the cover. No, I mean, but they're beautiful. both amazing. Yes. Um, yes. Spain, they had same-sex marriage back in 2005, so they're far more progressive than I knew. And I knew a lot of people were going to Spain, but I wasn't getting it. I'm going to like, Spain now. I'm going to Spain. <laughs> I will, yes, I will curtsy. <laughs> I'll do more than curtsy. <laughs> Give me a call. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. All hail the king. All hail the king. <laughs> the HRC. We love the HRC, the I Human love Rights campaign. campaign. Love them. I think Lisa loves the store more than she might love the organization. 
I do. I you walk in and you're like, oh, I'm here for tickets for Frameline, but I'm just gonna go shopping. I gotta buy this little bear with the rainbow on it. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. They have the the different colors of the bears all lined up. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's not so all that they have. We have the know. HRC's website below. You yeah. can go find their stuff online. But the, if you're in the Castro in San Francisco, go to 575 Castro and yes. you can go into the store. <laughs> um, but aside from their wonderful store, <laughs> uh, they're in the news of late. They do great things. They do. The HRC is trying to reach out to religious communities with a new guide. That's brilliant. And described on their website as a Christian conversation guide, creating safe and inclusive spaces for people who are LGBT provides practical suggestions for building safe and inclusive faith communities and congregations. It's literally a step-by-step -step guide on how to have conversations in these small groups within the community. Um, it even has a glossary of terms <laughs> uh, that you can use when talking about sexual orientation and gender identity. That's right. Yeah. And, and it's just, and, and, it, and it comes across in an incredibly positive and respectful manner. Mm -hmm. It's like, we're not trying to tell you, you know, to forgo your religion and all your beliefs, but we just want to start talking to you about how we feel, how we'd like to be approached, and how we'd like to be identified, which is just incredible. They say that it's impossible to really successfully engage um, those communities if you don't have it in a faith conversation. Right. What I love about this most, well, the, there's a couple things that I love about this. One, it's new. I yeah. haven't seen anything like this before. Right. Right. But like we were saying, it doesn't challenge their faith and it doesn't challenge their community. It just reminds them that we're equal, mm -hmm. we're valuable, and we are just want the same civil rights that, that they enjoy. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, HRC. Yay, HRC. <laughs> Go to the store. Go to the store. Get, <laughs> buy me Still a sweatshirt. Go to the store. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The Imperial Council proves that 50 is indeed fabulous. Fabulous. We're so excited. The coronation is coming up. Oh, crowns, scepters, beautiful people, gowns. We talked about this a couple episodes ago when we get a shout out there to Misty. Misty Blue is our current reigning empress. Hi, Misty. Um, wow. Yes. So exciting. February 14th is when the coronation happens. There's lots of parties and events leading up mm -hmm. to that. And what's exciting to me, I mean, and every year I say this, it's the history mm -hmm. of the Imperial Council. It all started with Jose Julio Saria, also known as the Grand Mare, mm -hmm. the Absolute Empress the First de San Francisco. And the Widow Norton. And the Widow Norton. Oh, yeah. And long, the Widow Norton. <laughs> long name. All of them are fitting and appropriate and deserve it. Not just the LGBT community, but also, I mean, just everybody. San Francisco owes an enormous gratitude oh my gosh. to Saria. Oh, yeah. Changed the landscape of, of civil rights, specifically for the gay community, but I think we're all a better for it. Oh, and yeah. Such an amazing person and, and so many advancements for the LGBT community, actually putting things on the map, mm -hmm. um, being in the paper, being proud, running for office. This was during this. the McCarthyism oh. time when um, the police were raiding gay bars and abusively and arresting them and, and all that kind of business. He got the gay community to unite. That's right. He created the Tavern Guild and got them all organized and united. Um, the, so much to his very uh, textured history. We put the link to the website down below so you can find out more about him and his legacy. Absolutely. It's too much for us to go into yeah, here sure. on the show, but a, a huge significant organization that he created, the Imperial Council, which came from the Tavern. Back before, the, before they had the Imperial Council, it was the Tavern Guild and they had a ball um, and they, they crowned Saria queen of the ball. And he said, well, why be the queen? Well, they're all you queens. We're all queens. <laughs> We're all queens. We're all queens. Why be a queen when you can be empress? So <laughs> with that, she named herself Empress of San Francisco um, and created the council. Uh, it is such an amazing organization. The coronation itself is so exciting mm -hmm. and such a big deal. I hope we have Misty on the show. We're going to reach out to, to her yes. and have her on so she can give a little bit of talk about it while, yeah. while she's still the empress. <laughs> February 14th, I believe we mentioned, it's a mm -hmm. coronation um, at the Design Center, the San Francisco Design Center. Mm -hmm. So please, please come out. We're going to be there as well. We'll have the information down there below so you can check it out, but yes. yes. Well, as you all know, I love to hang out in the Castro, the bars in the Castro. One of my favorites is to look out. What I love about the lookout is on the way to the lookout. Or the way up to the lookout. Or the way up to the lookout. It's usually on the way out. Uh, the, the way out, because well, you got to cross. And there's a great store. Yes. Called Entour. 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 And I bought this shirt. I've been, I've been looking at it since Christmas, I think. I've been buying stuff from them forever. Mm -hmm. We love them. My Edward. guy is Edward. Edward. Edward's the one. Hi, Edward. Hi, Edward. <laughs> 
He's so adorable. He is. Really? <laughs> it's the perfect shirt for her. <laughs> Thank you, Edward. Thank you, Edward. Thank you, On Tour. Go to On Tour and get some fashions. BB Sweetbriar. I love her. What's not to love? I always say I love her. I say I love a lot of people, but I, I, I really love BB. Whenever I see her, she's like, oh, baby, and she sits me down and we talk and... She just has, in her busy life and all that she has going on, her shows and you know, live and tape, she has a moment to say, hey, Lisa, what's up? Mm -hmm. And I just, it just fills my heart. She of... really is sweet. She really <laughs> If you haven't seen my interview with her on Glitter Bomb TV, check that out. I put right. the video below on our, on, our, on our feed down there. So amazing. She really is just she is. wonderful and sweet. And like Lisa said, she does. She'll stop and take the time to talk with you. She's really amazing and talented. She has a show coming up honoring Diana, Diana Ross. Ross. Yes. Oh. So if you don't know this, BB has performed before lip syncing, but she sings. She really does sing. She really does. Yeah, Amazing she does. voice. She's doing this whole dedication to Diana Ross. BB sings the blues. This is amazing. So this is in the bar tab if you want to check out that article and get the information. We're going to have that down there for you. But go check it out. I mean, Diana Ross. By BB Sweetbriar. Amazing. We'll be there. So, of course, naturally, she's our crush of the week. <laughs> Miss BB Sweetbriar. Just, Just look, look at, at her. her. Well, that's it for this week's G News, the only show where you get all of your gay in just one day with your hosts, Celsa Dule and Lisa Cohen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That way, you'll never miss an episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. We add another state to the marriage equality party. That's it. Oh. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that after we do the states. <laughs> Just say it all throughout. It. Just keep saying it. Just keep Be a glitter state. Why would she to listen to me when there's a camera on? <laughs> what, do, what do we want to say to the, all the states? Mm, I forget. <laughs> Mine like a steel sieve. Forget the hate. Forget the hate. Be a glitter state. Wait, state. wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It has to be my I have to, I have to intro it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I got it now. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Okay. Okay. I have a problem. I can't seem to do this. Oh my lord. Jesus. <laughs> how do you do really? this? Really? Cassie. Really? Cassie, I don't know how to. Boom. The the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> what? Yeah, That's what the just... line is. It's right there. <laughs> this could be damaging to your career. Yes. <laughs> just leave that. Yes. Oh. <laughs> right. oh I gotta go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>